Hello and good morning, and welcome back to Foundation, a beautiful game which I haven't played in a long time. Let's get right back into it. So we're back in the beautiful village of Quabbleshire. Uh, let's bring back up the UI. And we left it off in uh, quite the place last time. It really... We have grown in such a way where it really is a beautiful place to be, and I really love how it looks. So, I meant to bring up the comments before the video, I just realized I entirely forgot to do that. Give me a brief moment. Alright, uh, I'm all the way over here. <laughs> so, I got a myriad of comments on my last couple of videos about the jewelry thing, and that's kind of the thing I wanted to cover with this little bit here. So, Belgraph was telling me about how I have a shortage of gems, and I think that's entirely possible. We bring up our resource panel here, we have zero whole gems. So yes, he is entirely, or she is entirely correct. We don't have any gems. Gems are obtained through these, charge, through these deposits here. Um, basically, as long as you have a workshop or like someone working in them, there's a chance they'll find gems. So I need to take advantage of that and make sure I have it set up to get as many gems as possible. There's also another side of the token, and I don't, I think uh, it was on the, oh, so I do have this here. I thought I never did this. So let's get another villager on that. And we should really start assigning more and more villagers to our transport huts to make sure things are transported well through in, throughout the kingdom of Cobbleshire. I'm actually getting forgot to Um, Yeah, so we need to make sure things are transported well from A to B and that things go smoothly. They also brought up that we can buy gems for a cheap price of 10 gold per gem, which is actually a very reasonable price. So what we'll do, you're able to get, we're going to buy until we have 12 in stock because it's a multiple of three. Uh, right now our money isn't too hot, but what's going to happen is as we produce those, we're going to sell them for a substantial price. I don't remember where, yeah, here's the jewelry cell. And there's already someone working there, so they can start selling that for a reasonable price. A reasonably priced car, if you will. Uh, I've been watching a lot of Top Gear. That's what I've been doing in my free time. Yeah. Uh, no one needed to know that. So what we're also going to do, in order to increase gem production, we need to increase general production of ores. So the way we do that is by employing more people to work at these mines. So we can already see we have a lot of stone, but it doesn't hurt to put more people on those, because I think we can sell the stone. We cannot sell the stone. We can sell polished stone, so we'll use that as a way to make money from that stone that we're mining. Uh, we'll get, sadly, marble. Oh, you get unknown blueprints. Hmm. And I think we'll get something going at the quartz deposit. Right now, we don't have a big usage for quartz. I really don't know what we'd need quartz for. Also, we have a warning. Stuck while going to stone quarry. Why would you be stuck going to the stone quarry? Which stone, the stone quarry? I think I could see why. The iron smelter is in the way. So what I'm thinking is that one will assign people from working there so you don't get stuck on the way to work. And we'll go ahead. See, the problem for me with the quartz deposit is I don't see an end place for it. So it doesn't have anywhere where it's going to go to. You can make stained glass, you can make glass with it, but you really don't have much use for glass yet in this game. So I'm not going to do that yet. And that's also part of my problem with marble. So that's something kind of keep in my mind in the back of my head. I don't know why I'm speaking like this. Alright, let's go ahead. I want to go find our mandate boy. The... This guy. Oh, they're already setting a blueprint. Lovely. That's what I wanted to make sure they were doing. Also, someone else in the comments, I can't remember who, brought up that you can use T to unsnap something from the grid. So, if I go ahead and place these two next to each other, like that, uh, I would rather they're the same height, though. Alright. Uh, that was extraordinarily loud. Let's go ahead and try to do that there. I'm gonna move over here. I can't, my ears are not... Wait, do these move based on which train? Oh my god, they do. So, if we hold down T... Uh, T... Alright, so T isn't doing that. Maybe it was a different key? Uh, J? Oh, J's working. Look at that. How do you rotate? Control. Alright. So I must have ris misread it, but that's fine. Put that there. Scale it up. Scale it up. And I think that just adds a little bit more depth to this build. 
And I love me some depth. Uh, a little bit more left. Not going to be a complete perfectionist, but a little bit of one, you know. Actually, before I even do that, I want to get a stained glass window on this. I really do. So we're going to fudge it using an extension. I think we can use an extension for this, and we'll double check before we go for it. Nope, we can't. We'll use a core, and we can also get a really nice little roof line there going on. So just a reminder, y'all, it's J to unsnap from the grid. I'm going to put that there, and we can go ahead and raise it up just to be in between those two windows. And we'll put a stained glass window. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. All right, why can't we do it? I, that's the one thing I wanted this for, <laughs> is to put in the stained glass window. What? Oh, because it's snapping's off. Maybe it is T? Oh, it is T. All right, ignore what I just said three seconds ago. Okay, I gotta turn it back off. All right, let's put it over here so I can raise it. And I want to raise it up just a tad a bit more. Some of these camera angles are the worst thing I could ever do. But that's what I wanted. Just like that. Oh, that looks... See, it's all about adding just little layers of depth to your builds. At least that's the way I see it. And what I'm also going to do is we're going to grab this. And we're going to put it in. I want to lower it down just slightly. Bring it down. Maybe one. Yeah, one was perfect. Now to make sure it's centered. Yeah, it looks centered. Yeah, look at that. Just an extra layer of depth to the build can go a really long way. The one downside is we now need stained glass, which we do not currently have. Oh, that's not good. All right, well, time to panic. Also, we don't have any money. I'm going to speed up time. Several different things happening here. You know how it'd be. But it's fine. I really like how the roof line actually comes out and touches right here. Wait, I know what we can put right there. Uh, snapping on, please. A little cross. Oh wait, there's one right. <laughs> there's one right there. You know what? I'm all for it. And the soldiers were victorious, which is all we could ever ask for. They're on the way back, which means we'll have a large surplus of money we can use to expand this church in this way that we're about to do. Also, what's the current capacity of the church? We have 20 people at the church right now. It's a shame storming is such a heavy thing in this game, because it really does impact... Okay, there we go. Uh, pause. Cool. Start construction. And I kind of want to use some of this money to begin work on a monastery. Because I, I want a monastery. We have not begun work on a monastery yet, and we have this land set aside. And I think it'd be really cool to put one in. Also, the amount of stuff you can put in one of these is insane. So let's actually turn back on time. I'm going to turn down time, though. I don't know if we're in the way up or the way down. I don't know. But we're going to build the monastery. So this has several things you put inside of it. Abbeys, extensions. See, this, this looks like a little dormitory. Don't tell me that it doesn't look like a little dormitory. Put walls around the outside, which we will be doing. Actually, I think that's what I'd use. Oh, no, here it is. Cloister. Like that. So we can use this to put walls in. Like that. It'll just go around the outside. I like it because it kind of has a bit of a door there. So we can use that to have the entrance there. Also, this is going to be very costly very quick. Oh, it's not. I mean, it is in terms of materials, also money, we have plenty. So we can actually build this up right now without a problem. Uh, that makes me so happy because I've been wanting to do this for a while, but we haven't been in the monetary position to do one of these. So I think I kind of wanted to go up and hug this mountain here. Also, I think I'm overdoing it. Let's just pull this back. Put it at a bit of an angle like that. Put it to there. Perfect. Because I think it... It definitely needs to be sectioned off well. Well, we put a tower here. Like that. Alright, that works for me. More like that. Alright. I'm wondering if we need to put a door on the outside here. 
or will they go through this door? I, that's one thing that's confusing me a lot. So what I think we need to do is maybe an extension like this. Maybe a bit of a tower on the extension. Yeah. And we'll put a door on the outside of it here. Or not, because we can't. Alright, we'll put something like that going up into the mountains a bit. And there we go, now we can get a door in. And we'll get a smaller door on this side. This just kind of goes out into the area, into the yard. Because we're going to have kind of a courtyard thing going on here. A couple of abbeys. Too far. Alright, there we go, we got abbey. The abbey B off the front. And a big old door in the front of that. I think it's an interesting way to plan the space. As in, I haven't really been planning it much. I've just kind of been going as I go. And then monks are the only ones that can work in a vineyard, fun fact. So we'll put a vineyard out here, kind of out in front of the area. I think that's a good way to put it. We'll put a winery here. Herbs, that's new, I think. Put a cross in. Can I get it there? I can. All right. Fireplace, that's important. And we also need, I think one of these out here would probably be wise. We'll get a door and a fireplace on the back, and this will be a good place to start, I think. As, that's what I'm thinking, at least. And I think one of those there works, too. Ooh, I like this tower thing. It kind of going over. I'm probably going to undo that. Oh, there is no undo button. I forget about that. I forget about a lot of things in this game, and the lack of undo is one of them. There we go. So I think that get, and provides a nice entrance into the area. Which is the goal for me. Put a door up there? No. Why would I even be able to? So I'm going to put the standby entrances here. Means we're going to need to... Actually, that's not going to work out well. Not at all. Put it here. And let's get some uh, plants along the outside. Just kind of going in. Get some uh, decorative bushes in here. Oh, I right-clicked. There used to be an apiary as part of this, but I don't see it. Oh, here it is. Apiary produces honey, which we can sell. So we'll put it here. Kind of out of the way. Oh, I'm moving. Lovely. So let's go ahead and press the big old go button on that. This is an important build. Oh, and guess what we do need? Glass. So let's go ahead and get ourselves the glass smelter. We can put that in this bit of town here, somewhere nearby. Put it like there. My game just froze. Oh, autosave. I always forget autosave is a thing. So, you know how it'd be. Alright, so we'll get it right there. Start the construction and let's go ahead and put in a couple quartz deposits. Quartz quarry 1. Quartz quarry 2 does not fit. So we'll start construction here and speed up time. Speed up time. And, uh, it's... I, this requires jewelry to be built? Oh, it's a quest, and it gave me jewelry. I was not understanding. Resume time. That way things can get underway. People can be happy. I gotta make sure this is not zoned. Alright, because this is where we're going to put the wine field. Is right here. An envoy is approaching your village. Let's go see what's up. I really do love overall the layout we kind of have. We have a very strong city center in this area. I really wanted to be a little bit more over here. But we have this area up here, which is kind of like a supporting village to our main town, which will now have a uh, monastery, which needs a granary nearby, because we have a lot of resources we'll be storing that near. Actually, I think we have granaries in this bit of town that don't have anything in them. It says 12 gems. What are you doing with 12 gems? Why out in this part of town? All right, you get another person. As I was saying, I'm pretty sure there's buildings that don't have anything filled in them. Just gotta make sure I can see what they are. Maybe I'm wrong, because I don't actually see another workshop. Oh, wait. That one actually? Yeah, that one's full too. So what we'll get is another granary up here to store the, um, the stuff. Put it here. And then I want to check. Also, we have an action. Envoys requesting audience. Alright, what's up, my friend? You would like berries. We can do berries. Who do we want to give berries to? 
who do we want to give berries to? Estates. We would love to give berries to uh, the clergy. Because that is extra money from trade that we did not have before. Alright, lovely. Everyone's all happy now. I really regret building the Masterpiece Garden here because I feel like it's just a very lame way to do it. I don't know, I'll have to think about that a bit. I did want to do up this area a bit. Let's see, we could... We have stuff we can build. We have a fountain, which I think would be very fitting right here. I wish I could retexture the ground to be grass, but you can't. I think there might be stuff inside of this I can use. Yeah, there is. I can use actually a water basin. Get maybe a fountain over here. I know there's one on the other side, but we'll get one there. And we'll continue this idea of these along this. About there. Maybe get some along here. Just kind of going down towards the... Oh, we can't do that. Alright. Maybe a weather vane? Oh, we already have one. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and try to get a hedge in. Like this. Do there. And can we get another one right along here? Go like that. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Unless I do something like this. Yeah, I can do that. Alright. Again, not perfect. Oh, uh, no. Leave existence, please. Get out of here. Uh-huh. There we go. That was horrid beyond belief. Alright, so that adds a little bit of character to the area. It's still not amazing. Also, we have to start construction on those. Alright. But it's something, for sure. It definitely is something. We need to create another polished stone workshop in order to sell more uh, polished stone. So we can put it over here. Because what the goal is with this idea I have is we're going to start mass producing stone from here. I want to move this. Because it's in a horrible spot. Wait, here. Cancel these. Iron smeltery. Alright. Uh, hi, you. You go here. Oh, that's a, that's a house. I really didn't give myself much space to work with. Here we go. Iron smelter up in this bit of town. Get it right there. Can we not get another... I feel like I have this moment every time I come look at this. But no, you can't get another one on there. Alright, so get to work. Because my goal is I want to tear that down and replace it with this one and a couple of stonemason huts. That way I can have that one going too. And we can sell the excess stone for extra money. Also, progress on the monastery is coming along strong. Look at this. They're really going ham. And we don't even have glass yet. I'm actually thoroughly impressed. Keep it up. Keep up the good work. Also, the amount of sheep and cows just vibing. It's great. Uh, let's look at our needs, kind of generally speaking. What are we look lacking? Iron we're kind of hurting on. Polished stone we're definitely hurting on. We have a lot of wine. That's good to see. Uh, promotion season is around. What are we at in terms of citizens? I'm not going to promote any citizens. What I'm going to promote is serfs. And soldiers. Oh, look at all those unemployed. We gotta make sure we can find a place for them to work. Alright. So I went down the list there. We were able to promote a lot of people. Let's do the same here. In the commoner department. Of course, we're not gonna be able to afford quite as many. Alright, that's everyone. Enough promotions for today. So we're gonna have a housing crisis for a brief moment. And how brief that is, I have no idea. I hope it's brief. But if we look at our residential zoning, we have plenty of land available to build houses in. So hopefully we don't have to worry about it too much. What we could do is we can build another well out here. Maybe get a fountain nearby. <clears throat> like around here. Oh, we can't afford that. 500 gold for a fountain? I regret building the one over here. Actually, it's not done yet.
Oh, I didn't get the money back. I'm dumb. All right, it's fine. We'll prioritize that construction, and we'll make sure there's more residential zoning around this area. Cool. Oh, I didn't mean to get rid of that circle. All right. What's happening? All right. Houses are upgrading left and right across the village. I want to make sure that whenever a house is upgraded, they become highest priority item in the world. Because I don't want people going homeless. <laughs> because their house has been under construction for years and not finished. Alright, those guys are all under construction. Make sure this house is prioritized. Uh, that one's been prioritized. Alright, that one's been prioritized. Good. I'm just trying to make sure I find all of them so we have none of the aforementioned homelessness in our village. That's a house. Go. Uh, that's a house. Go. Alright, I think... Oh, there's another house right here. You can see the path. Go. I think, theoretically, that's all the houses. So... Oh, wait, there's one right here. That's not a house. That's a glass melter. I remember that now. Alright. The Roman church isn't available. I didn't realize there was a Roman church in the game. I'm intrigued. Let's look at this Roman church. We're not actually going to build it anywhere right now. But... Oh, look at this piece set. Oh, look at the frontage. Look at the door. That's a pretty looking church. You got a window you can put on. Uh, the window doesn't look all that complete. But that is in fact a window. You can put decorative windows in. Put more frontages in. I see the decorative window. Interesting. You got these towers that are very unique. Look at that and the extensions. They look really cool too. That's a cool build. I mean, this is not a cool build, but the piece set is really cool. <laughs> I'll clear that away. Alright, there we go. We're going to have to use that in the future. Not right now, but definitely in the future. Also, the monastery's construction is still really impressing me. What does it need? Polished stone. A lot more than we ever have. Planks, tools, stone. Look at how many planks, oh my god. Right now we're having no one join the village because we have constructions of houses left and right because no one is in their homes at the moment because their houses are under construction. Which is lovely. Oh, that's a house that needs to be built. That's a house over there that needs to be built. Alright, get underway. Go, go, go. It's go time. We need to make sure we're using all of our planks properly. New band-aid available. Mandate, not band-aid. Uh, you know what? Get to it. Let's see what that deposit holds. I want to make sure... It's very important when you begin upgrading people that you make sure their houses are able to be built as quickly as possible. That is my big advice on this, one of my big advice on this game. Oh, there's one there. Oh, there's so many houses over here now. This area is going to fill in nicely, I can already tell. Alright, get underway. That's actually a lot of wood. A lot more wood than we probably have. Yeah, look at that. We don't have much wood. Well, let's hope the builders use what we have and properly get underway with it. I'm going to unprioritize the monastery, because I'd say that's low priority compared to the houses. Alright. No longer priority. Um, You here, you're still a priority in my mind. You are no longer. You are no longer. Alright, cool. I think that's good. I think that means we can get things underway without having to worry too much about when they'll get done. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I only need to put a sawmill on pause. I don't know. Actually, I think we have a closed... What we need to do... See who needs employees. This market tender needs an employee. These foragers need employees. Get one to there. Get at least two transporters to each place. Not another carpenter. No deposit now yet. Where are you? I don't know what you were supposed to hold. Alright, so we're sitting okay in terms of jobs. A monk is at the village, apparently. Oh, here's the monk. Okay. Never mind, that wasn't the monk. We actually still have people joining the village. That's interesting to me, considering we're in such a... 
downfall right now in terms of housing. 40 villagers have lacked housing too many times. Because the housing is still under construction. I'm actually probably went a little too ham with that. Because we don't have the wood to build all these houses. We will eventually, it's just going to take a while. And what I think we might need another of. Another deforestation camp out here. Lumber camp. Oh, interesting. I didn't realize I had that circle around it. What we'll do is we'll build it right here. And you're high priority as well. And we don't have the tools right now to do it, but it should be able to get done pretty quick. At least that's my hope. Oh, the monk's here. Alright. Hello, Mr. Monk. We would like tools. I'm sorry, we don't really have any tools right now. We'll try again another time. But I think this is... Oh, we have a new villager. Alright, I think this is where I'm going to leave it for now. If you enjoyed, be sure to like the video and subscribe for more. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading as much as recently. I've just been kind of busy. So, yeah. Well, I guess I haven't really been busy per se. I've just been kind of not mentally here. Uh, but yeah, I'll be seeing you all next time. Bye for now.